Okay. <clears throat> well, how are you doing? Um, going to be doing an unboxing here of the a Stewart Travel Guitar. Uh, <clears throat> they're a convertible guitar. Basically fits, so you take anywhere, fits in a little pack just like this. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Facebook and do a share in the group. So Facebook. All right. Oh, we got uh, somebody in. Looks like uh, Facebook.com. I'm going to share. Share it. Let's see. Go to my home. And let's this share in a share. In a group, and the group name is Original. There we go. New five on boxing. Here it is. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can open this box. <clears throat> see? Hey, Terry. It probably will. So look at this. It's tiny. It's only the, the whole box is only as wide as me. So <clears throat> let's uh, give this a shot here. I need a shot. <clears throat> Comes seemingly very well packaged. <clears throat> Live unboxing. How exciting. Okay. There we go. Tape is detaped. Detape, detape. Oh, that's a bad joke. Def Con Clark, how's it going? Okay. All right. Okay. It comes pretty well packed. And a little note. Let's see what we got. Ripping the note. Nice little note from the president and C CEO. Some business cards. New video will be up soon. Oh, thank you. All right. So, uh, bubble wrap. Okay. Here it comes. Okay, let's take this. I got a tiny office. Okay. Oh, looks like we got 11 people on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So it's a nice little pack. It comes in. Tiny. And let's see. All right. Okay. So first off, let's look at the front couch. All right. I don't know if tongue depressor was meant to be in there, but maybe it was. Maybe there's a reason. We'll have to read the instructions. Okay. Uh, Allen wrenches. Allen wrench. So there's four Allen wrenches and a tongue, tongue depressor. Okay. Hey, Pat. Do, 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 do. Ooh. It's protected. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay, there's the case. And uh, as you'll note, what's cool is there's no neck. Well, there is, but it's hidden. <laughs> Nothing at all. Ned Flanders. Nothing at all. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Perloid pick guard. Let's see if we get the light just right. Yeah. Um, blue, pretty blue. So nice of uh, Jim to send this. It's going to be out of tune. So the neck fits right in this little slot. Hey, Shikius. <laughs> Overhead compartment. Yes, yes. Um, very, very tiny. That's the, that's the whole point. So um, it's got this mechanism, and this goes in the slot, and the strings stay attached because it tunes from right here. So, so you pull this out, and I guess you got to get used to the way you, you pulled it. Um, you want to make sure the strings are not um, twisting. And then you put it, oops, I'm sorry. You put it in the slot. There's a little slot, and you push it all the way in. And there's this little catch right there. And so uh, the instructions, I read the instructions before. You want to make sure that when you're tightening it, that you, uh, you make sure you close the gap completely. And... Uh, Spin these on. Just give them, they don't have to be too tight. Just give them a little crank. And there is no movement. And uh, voila. There it is. Right there. It's gorgeous. It's got a, it's very sparkly. Let's see. Let's see if we get a good, good image on the sparkle. Let's get it clear. Focus. There's the sparkle. Let's see. Sparkles. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be a. But this this is going to be a uh, part of my. This will probably end up being my number one, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Um, one, it's got the. I went with the, uh, the humbucker. And then the single coils. Uh, so the best of both worlds. Now, um, this up next to my Strat, just a tiny bit smaller um, measurement-wise. But what's crazy about this, I don't know if you can tell, but I could sit in the car, in my car, and not hit the, not hit the window. So I could take this anywhere. Um, yeah, it fits in my room perfectly. You know, a tiny, literally, uh, this room right here. That's about three inches away from this guitar, and this is about where where my table is. So, probably about three feet, four feet. Um, let's see. And I've uh, got my strap. Okay. Um, so this goes here. Right there. And this is my Chad at Nam strap. Oh, I got to stop doing that. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this here. 
but we're gonna have to use the tuner on the uh oh can you guys hear that hmm is that too loud okay so let me go ahead and tune it this is going to be a little odd um tune Well, mute it so you guys don't have to hear that. Turn it up. There we go. Okay, kind of nice. A little, little awkward, but nothing you can't get used to. There's such a thing as too loud. Well, when you're broadcasting, uh, yeah, you get a little overmodulated. Okay, all right. Okay, so some of the observations here is um, just like just like any guitar that you get from anywhere, it's going to need a setup to be. Um, Not too, not too shabby. Ooh, that's all. <laughs> okay, sorry about this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, new tea. tea, tea. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a it's a, so getting used to there being no um, tuners up here. That's an odd one, it, but but doable because all the trade offs that you get are fantastic. Now, something to to note, and I'm going to come up personally with. A fix for me because I'm going to end up cutting myself is the way these uh, are here, but I have a solution in mind, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit hit them with that. Okay, let me put the final tune on. Hmm. Chad tunes guitar. Yeah, a little getting used to on this, but it's not a problem. There we be. So as with any any new guitar that you get, you're gonna have to make it set up just for you. Okay, how's this? Oh, I gotta turn. Oh, mute, unmute it. Uh, the neck is great and actually um uh it's a little bit more like let's see I, i'm gonna say uh a dc a, a c to a d profile 
and reasonably uh, um, it's not baseball bat, but it's not super thin, which is good. So, yeah, this is uh, this is the Stewart uh, travel guitar, Stewart travel guitar, and uh, this one has I don't know what the, the the actual model is, but this is the blue one with. Uh, the humbucker in the in the bridge, they have all all sorts of different models. But um, the stowaway, stowaway, yeah. Um, does everybody like this preset? Is it too loud? What's going on? Hello, butterfly. Um, my favorite butterfly. So uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll up. Got Terry here. We got uh, 12 people on. Got Pat. We got Defcon Clark. Um, Aaron Short. Aaron Short Music. Get over there and see his channel. <laughs> Yeah, lost my head. There we go. It's gone. Just like my brain. Okay. So, Stuart Travel Guitar. And uh, I made this. This is really awesome. It's so cool to be able to take this thing everywhere. And some cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to work with the iPhone and, uh, and my uh, the, the, uh, the, the Line 6 uh sonic port vx and bring it to now <laughs> yeah yeah if if line six will have me back i'll <laughs> we'll bring it I, yeah I'll definitely bring it yeah because uh that this will allow me to practice more because i'll be able to you know when i go go to the store in fact i'm going to be doing that tonight take my wife to the store i'm going to bring bring this with me and uh I'll be able to sit in the car with the air conditioner on, the windows shut. And... Yikes. See, I need practice. Top chat. Where did everybody go? Everybody's gone. What happened? Live chat. Everybody go to live chat. There we go. Just checking out their website. Nice pricing for these. Yeah, yeah. So, so I honestly think every – crazy thing. I honestly think every working musician should have one of these – uh, because this is awesome. Being able to just put it in your bag. It comes with a little bag. This bag, you can see. Is, oh, crazy. Okay, this bag is not large. This is uh, smaller than the Helix bag. And a uh, little pouch for different things if you want to bring it. Um and it, it fits in there. There's actually room in there. Uh, there's actually more room than you need in there. So and you might be able to, um, you know, put extra extra things in there with your guitar. So make a bag for this guitar and a heli. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Um, I've got my brain working. So an amp fits in there so as well. Yeah. So... Uh, I'll be able to put, uh, I'm going to put my Sonic port in here and all the connections for the Sonic port so that I can, you know, go into the car and use my iPhone and, or my iPad. You know, um, yo, that's, that's something to check right here. I got my iPad. This is the, tw the larger one. This is the, uh, 12, the 12.5 inch or whatever, um, iPad pro. So let's check something out here. I think 
faux show. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Room for other stuff. It fits very comfortably in there. <clears throat> very comfortable. This is the this is the big daddy. So um, very, very nice. Stuart Travel Guitar. Uh, very nice. Some things to get used to. And, you know, the, all guitars need a setup. Um, this, uh, uh, sounds, sounds great. Let me turn off some of the, some of the, some of the weird stuff. There you go. Dry. That is the, um, I'm assuming that's the, uh, the bridge pickup. Uh, uh, yeah. So that's the bridge pickup. Uh, Going to take some getting used to not having that physical, um, you, know, you know, I'm not seeing out of the, uh, you know, where to, to go. You know, uh, usually have the neck starts to catch it. Um, the headstock. Okay, so let's uh, move to slot space number two. And then uh, the middle. And then number four. And uh, the complete net. Let's put a little bit of... So there we there we have it. Um, how does it feel and finishing quality? Okay, all right. Let's let's go ahead and get into that. That's a good question, uh, Brewberry. Um, fit and finish, very very nice. Um, gaps, no gaps. Uh, the uh, the neck pocket that goes together um, right here. Very high quality feeling. Doesn't feel. Uh, it feels very solid. Um, everything is great fit and finish on the neck. It feels wonderful. Um, uh, fret edges, not bad, not, not perfect. Could use, could use a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, not, not bad, not bad. Just could use a little bit of, of, of work the, the the frets themselves are perfect um, on the back side let's, let's look in the camera on the back side um, this piece that holds the neck when you take it apart is really nice and uh, it feels like the quality of the uh, tuning tuners are, are are decent so all in all and the, the paint is the paint is flawless and uh, shiny and good looking and it sounds good. So yeah, all in all for what you get, price is right. The body's a full size. 
Um, it's a little bit smaller than my Strat, but that's that's not a bad thing. And uh, uh, it stands up flat on the floor, easy against the wall too. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic guitar, and it's one that is really easy. In fact, let's see. Let's do this. So we've got it right here. It's off. I'm going to leave my strap on. Take my G10 wireless off. Put it back in its cradle. And reverse the process. So what I do... What I will always do is I'll hold it, you know, just so, so that you you don't you don't have to. That's holding it, but we're going to loosen it. So I don't want it to just be able to run free. And you just uh, loosen these until they kind of freewheel, like that, freewheel. And then there's this little catch at the top, and you just I push in and then just hit that little catch, release it like that. And then uh, I'll kind of lay it down a little bit. And then I just, personally, myself, let's see if I can do this without, I'll just pick it up and uh, slide it right in the slot. Keep grabbing the, pardon the, the view here. So I just slide it in the slot. I keep the string right here. Till it gets in there and voila, sits in there, and then you can put it in the in the case, just like that. That's how she does it. And then when you want to, you just reverse the process. Make sure you're not twisting the strings, like I did. Let's see. I didn't. I didn't. So you put it in the pocket like that. And you just, oops, make sure it's in the pocket. Okay. And then you tighten that up as you're holding it. You, uh, the warning is do not use these too tight. It, you know, you want to make sure you're holding it in to tighten it. Just like that. And. Now here's here's the thing. We'll see if it's. I didn't mess with any of the settings, uh, tuning keys. Let's see is it reasonably in tune? I think so. Might be a little out, but I still haven't done a full set on. Um, but uh, there you have it. So that's that's the ticket. I think it's a, a very cool, um, very cool guitar. Very worth it. Um, like like I say, it needs it needs. I need to set it up for its for my my preferences, and make sure the intonation is correct. And and you've got all the Allen wrenches in there to be able to do that and make the adjustments. And, once it's intonated with, it comes with tens on it. And I don't care how new the strings are. I will probably put my own new set on. Reasonably in tune. Yeah, you know what? I didn't tune it. It's, it sounds... Oh yeah, I certainly could, you could gig with it. I, I I'm gonna use it on. Um, I'm gonna use it, and I have. A, I have this guitar right here. This was my number one. Well, it's still probably it's probably gonna be always my number one. But okay, let's let's see if I can do this without being dumb. Man, take that out. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, let's see if you can get a good size. Now, this 
guitar right here is 11 pounds. Good night. It hurts to hold up. I mean, it's hard to, to get it in there, but you can see it's a full, they're both full size guitars. But this is 11 pounds and it's thick and girthy. And, um, uh, but yeah, I have no problems uh, gigging with this. No problem whatsoever, other than other than my poor, poor playing. Um, but yeah, I, in fact, in fact, that's that's actually the goal is so I can go out and possibly uh, do some jams, uh, carry with me. You know, if I don't get a chance to play, I'm fine. If if I do, great, I got it right there. So. Uh, it's not big and bulky like you're carrying a whole bunch of stuff in. You've just got it. You've got it in your at your ready. So perfectly think that'd be great. So anybody else have any questions? I mean, this is this is really nice. Let's put this back in. Okay. Hello. Oh, there you go. I don't know how. To, I don't know if it, it, it gents. <laughs> Trust rod adjustment is easy too. Yes. Um, I, I don't know where. Oh, it's in the pocket. Oh, I have to look it up. <laughs> you must have to take it out. The weight. Um, certainly less than my less less Paul, which is 11 pounds. Oh, at the heel. Oh, at the heel of the net. Yeah, trust. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't actually the uh, the action on it is just fine for me. I think what I need to do is just make sure that those are adjusted right for me. And I think I want to lower this one down a little bit, make some adjustments to the uh, the height for me. Uh, of the pickups. Other than that, I think it's going to be fine. Uh, it appears, and I know this is not the way to do it, but um, just looking at the action for me, the action is, is great. So I don't even think I need to make an adjustment to the truss rod. Um, but yeah, you know what? At this juncture, and we'll see how it goes, at this juncture, um, you need to get People, you need to get this in your bag. This is, this is no joke. This is really awesome, and uh, I'm proud to uh, to have one. So, uh, um, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate uh, uh, Jim Reed for for making sure I got one. And uh, it's. Uh, it's tremendous. It's great. I think it's going to be my number one. I'm going to take it everywhere. And I'm going to probably end up bringing my two. Um, this one will be the one that goes down to the shop, and I'll be able to have my um, Strat and this Les Paul here and this one here, or take take this one back and forth to the shop and to, to gigs. And, and uh, so I think... Uh, very, very happy with this. Um, I'm going to definitely let's see if I can clear that up. I don't know if you can see those. Um, yeah, for me, I'm going to make sure I find a, a solution for, for those. I mean, you know, they have to be cut off. They're, they're cut off pretty level. 
but you can still feel them and you know it's hard to get anything in there so i'm personally you know i i don't like you know sticking anything on that so i i think i have a solution in mind mm -hmm. so um that said i'm just happy to be able to to bring this unboxing this is uh you know fun to do um i like the guitar and um that's about it so thank you guys for coming up here and uh, uh spending a few minutes with me um GearbySiba.com is my website. If you need anything for, I'm just going to be launching Kemper screen guards and uh, some other screen guards like uh, the Headrush screen guards, not the main screen because it's a touch screen and um, there's aftermarket touch screen protectors that can go on there. They won't protect from a big drop, but uh, but I have my, uh, it has scribble strips, so I have scribble strip cards in. And then I'm going to have skins for the head rush, skins for, uh, um, skins. Uh, I'm going to come up with a skin for for here. So aftermarket uh, skin pieces that maybe can match your guitar so that the, uh, you know, or put a racing stripe on it. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to come up with some skins to, uh, for that. So yeah, uh, you should get one, Pat. It, uh, I, again, like I say, it's, it's going to need a little setup, but that's just for my own personal. It doesn't mean it couldn't, I couldn't take it and go out and play it. It's just uh, a few little tweaks and just like that. That's how they, that's how I was wrote. So uh, I'm going to go shopping and take my travel guitar with me. <sighs> there you go. It's been a long week. We, uh, I packaged like 40, 40, 50 orders. Oh, I mean, I got a special gift going out to somebody in Norway. It was a 15, no, 17 pound box. It was 24 inches by 12 inches by like 18 inches it's just a huge box big thing customized for some some okay famous people so that should be cool hopefully they they get it and and uh it, it makes it to, to norway and doesn't get destroyed in the process because it was $89 to ship it. $89. And that doesn't count the stuff that was inside. <laughs> so, all righty, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the yada yada. Hit the bell. Do a dance. Do a jig. Something like that. Um, uh, who knows? You know, share it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Butterfly, for being on here. Thank you, Eric, for being on here. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Brew Berry. Uh, thank you, Patrick. Uh, 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 thank you, Defcon Clark. Thank you, Terry. And thank you, Shikius. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I covered it. So, have a wonderful weekend. There may be more something or other on the weekend. Maybe not, because this is a long week. <clears throat> Somebody buy me a drink. Okay, <laughs> talk to you later. And we end stream. And